October 17, 1989, a massive earthquake hits Northern California, centered in Santa Cruz, 60 miles south of San Francisco. Magnitude 7.1, and it causes 63 people to lose their lives. Destruction, 14,000 homes suffered major structural damage. 577 homes were completely destroyed. Total cost of property damage, over $6 billion. 1992, the Southern California community of Yucca Valley becomes the next target of Mother Nature. With a 7.4 magnitude earthquake, the largest tremor in over 40 years in California. The valley and the nearby resort community, Big Bear Lake, suffered massive damage, with more than 7,000 homes destroyed or damaged. January 17, 1994, at 4.31 a.m., Northridge, California shakes for 40 seconds, registering 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale from a previously unknown fault lying nine miles below the Earth's surface. Mobile homes had the highest failure rate by far. 67% hurled from their support peers. No one, not even the scientific community, can accurately predict when the big one will strike. But one thing all scientists agree on is that we should prepare for a continued period of high seismic activity and take the necessary steps now to make our homes earthquake safe. When an earthquake occurs, a sudden release of a tremendous energy travels along the Earth's surface in the form of seismic waves. These seismic waves move both vertically and horizontally in two ways. First, a violent shaking and pulling in opposite directions. Simultaneously, and next, an overturning action that can rock the mobile home right off of its support piers. This message is not about earthquakes. It's about something much more serious. It's about the way we install our mobile homes in California and why something needs to be done. Shortly after the Northridge quake, testimony was given by the Department of Housing and Community Development at the State Seismic Safety Commission hearings in Burbank. What was learned there shocked most of the commissioners and will shock you. Mobile homes in California are not safe because they are not required to resist lateral loads at the foundation. As a result, they are completely vulnerable to earthquake damage. This program is dedicated to mobile homeowners who live in California and want to protect their mobile homes and their families from the hazards of earthquakes. What you will learn here is accurate and responsible information. Please pay close attention. Mobile or manufactured homes are factory built under rigid building standards known as the HUD code. When completed, your mobile home is driven on its own wheels and axles to its final destination at highway speeds, subjecting it to stresses equal or greater than an 8.0 Richter scale earthquake. It is then installed on leveling piers. These leveling piers are made from non-structural scrap metal the cost of which can range from $1.85 to $2.60 retail when completed. A double wide home may have as many as 40 of these unattached piers placed at five and one half feet centers along the mainframe. The only connection is gravity. Your well-built home has now been placed in a highly vulnerable position, should even a minor earthquake strike. What's wrong with this picture? As we've just explained, you have a well-built home sitting on a dangerous foundation. What if we design the foundation to the same code that the home was built to? To better understand the importance of a HUD code foundation, let's take a look at earthquake forces and how they travel. First is the primary wave which pushes the home in the direction of travel. The primary wave tends to push the base of the support pier away from the footing or wood pad. Since there is no actual connection between the pier and the mainframe, the pier tends to move away from the mainframe, which it supports. Next is the secondary wave, which moves back and forth at right angles and has a pulling apart effect on the mobile home, which can cause severe damage, where the multiple sections are adjoined, known as the marriage line. The third type of wave is known as a surface wave.
Surface waves move across the surface vertically to the direction of wave travel with a powerful upward thrust, similar to an ocean wave. This causes the home to move in an upward direction.